Hey guys, Bruno here. Welcome back to Brewmaster, the beer brewing simulator. Another episode, episode four. New season. So let's read what's going on here. Brewer, I'm fizzing like a pent up Dunkel Wizen. <laughs> to share that one of my favourite local breweries, Home and Hearth, will be appearing on the pages of the quarterly from now on. Learning job sponsored by Home and Hearth will improve your reputation with them, and I'm sure they'll reward you accordingly. Who knows? One day you might even offer you a commercial slot to sell beers based on your recipe. Also, I wanted to mention the immersion coils in the catalogue. No doubt you've noticed just how long it takes the boiling water to cool down. Chillers such as immersion coils will not only save you hours, but most importantly, the faster the water cools, the less chance of contamination. Alright, so I do know that we need to get um, our contamination down. So let's go with an immersion coil. I'm going to go with a small gas burner too. Uh, micro pump. Uh, we'll add that to, ooh, actually we need to be careful here, because we need to look at, um, pale ale in comparison. In all grain recipes, grains will provide the majority of SRM to brew a pale beer, use grains with low SRM stats. Right. Ah, track job. So what do they want? A pale ale, I guess. Recipes, Belgian Golden Strong Ale, so they want ABV or SRM lower than 15%, okay, yeah, what's the next one, American Brown Ale, yeah, we don't want that one, alright, let's go catalog, um, pinned recipes, grab view, new, yeast, Good enough. I think we do. Just for those though, that doesn't include our... Oop, no. Yeah, um, cart. Yep, done. Alright, so that's all the equipment we need. I don't care about cosmetics or whatever else. Um, Belgian Golden Strong Ale. Let's make sure we unpack this first. Okay, so we need to add grain to mash tun, we need to do the home brew thing, so let's grab the brew container, mash tun, rotation, conditioner, actually, it helps if you actually press retrieve, doesn't it? Ah, double click, even better. Oop, we don't need that many. Ah, put one of you back. Right, so let's place, actually we're going to need one there, one there, do, do, oop, enough space, oops, put that away, grab those and those, yes, okay, so we're going to place this here, oh, I want to rotate that, there we go, and you in there, Lid off, turn you on. This coil, I guess we'll just place it there for now. Ah, uh, that can go there. Actually, we didn't buy that pump, did we? Because we really need to get, to reduce our contamination, we need to use the hose for everything. Um, catalog, add to cart. Ah, we don't have enough. Damn it. Oh well. Alright, add grain to mash ton. We want 5.5 of Belgian Pilsner. 5.5. Or 1. 5. Belgian Pilsner. Belgian Pale Ale, 1.5. 1, 5, yep, done. Alright, so we can... Pour those in. Not that we could actually see what was going on. Alright, pour you in as well. Fermentation container really needs to move. How many litres is in that? 
Still going very slow. Ah, there we go. Pour from this angle. It's even better. Right, pour you in there. So we need 21 litres, we need to heat it to 84 degrees Celsius. That back on there. You on, let's get the speed going a little bit faster. Oop, wrong button. Keep pressing the wrong button all the time. Alright, so it needs to go to 84 degrees. Um, we need to hold the mash at 65 degrees for one hour. Okay. Oop, it's a bit hot. Alright. The 10 litres one in there. Close enough. You back on there just to keep the temperature up. We need to stay at 65 degrees for one hour. So the time is 10.21, so 11.21. I don't know, like it's maybe every 20 minutes we'll add an extra litre. want to keep it hot but we don't want to overdo it the 1021 that I said I think it was 1041 there's no way we're gonna perform a successful mash out look how much water's already in there Let's just go through to 11.21. Um, yep, yeah, alright. 11 litres. Fill that all in. Ipsh. Right. Uh, we want to put that on there. Overflowing. Pour the mash out. Oh, yep, yeah, okay. Transfer the warp mash ton to the brew container, which is this one. And now we can just use this, this, that. We can only put 21 litres in there anyway. I oh, know we can put 25. All right, well, pick you up, put you back on there. Heat to 100 degrees. So throw you there. Clean that. Oh, I just did that. Um, add hops. Oh, Pacific Emerald, 10 grams. Pacific Emerald. Breathe, 10 grams. Oh, that's number one. Hulkian, 145 grams. I never know what's where. Forty five grams. Black peppercorns, 12 grams. Interesting. So that needs to get to 100 degrees. But that's got to go in for oh, 50 minutes. So, 12.52. I 
close enough. Uh, for 10 minutes. So 102. Then we want 12 grams. Peppercorn. Oop, we need to shake. Actually, pick you up, put you back in there. Um, we need to remove both of those. Move hops, cool water to 20 degrees so they can both go in there. So now we need to go that in, oop, that in there. Tap on the intake to there. Connect on that to there. Can we rotate that? Ah, oh, alright. Oh, it's on. Can't tell if it's working though. Alright, we need to cool it to 20 degrees. We need to transfer it to the fermentation container, which I don't think... Alright, turn that off. Touch tube. That's not what I wanted. You there? Can I this down here? Go connect from there to there. Yeah, it's slowly doing it. All right. Well, let's let that do its thing. Oh, there we go. I'll put you there, lid back on, you can stay there, you can be cleaned. Right, cool water 20, transfer, add yeast to fermentation, so wild ale 75, Sixtus ale 75. Sixtus ale, wilder ale, done. Pour both those in. I'll pour the next one in. Man, that's not quite 20 degrees, but it's pretty close. Um, 20 days, and we need some corn sugar. Uh, I've transferred a conditioning container which can go down there. Alright, so 21 days, no, 15 days I should say, let's not do 21. Alright, lid off, pick up. Uh, 350, let's put 400 grams in there just to get the carbonation up a little bit more. That'll do. All right, I'll grab you. Connect from there to there. Turn on. 20 degrees for 21 days. All right, done. Lid. Um, Attach tube. Lid on. All right. Condition at 20 degrees for 21 days. Done. Taste and package the beer. Alright, let's... This is the Home and Hearth Pale Ale. Seven point three, so it's well carbonation is still flat. Extremely hazy. Extremely malty and sweet. Right. 
ABV is very high. Bitterness is low. 7.5% contamination. Damn, Blondale. Alright, let's go. Heart. Earth. Bond. Ale. Heart and Earth. Let's go pure blonde. Used that name before, but pure blonde. God damn, my fingers. Yep. Blonde ale. Bottle. Oh, we'll go that one. That one. Label maker. Illustration border. Not doing anything that I can. Oh, there we go. Go that one. Let's go illustration. No. Confirm illustration. Oh, so we can move that up a bit higher. Scale, move it down a little bit. Okay, gradient type, metallic. Shine. Roughness. Oh, there you go. Shadow. Shadow position. I could even change the colour, that's good. Oh. Let's go green. Not sure what colour that's changing. Change anything. Texture. Oh, there we go, that'll do. Confirm. ABV text. Very strong. We choose, oh, there we go. Go blonde ale. We need to scale that up quite a bit. Beard name text. There we go. Let's go scale. There's our scale. Cool that we can actually do this sort of stuff, that's really good. Um, it'll do roughness. Right, I think that looks pretty good. Volume text, background. Yeah. Ugly. So we can actually change background completely. Doesn't do anything. Texture. It's obviously, yeah, background texture white. That'll do, I think. That doesn't look too bad. Art and Earth Pure Blonde, Blonde Ale. We could do both. Between three and six. But yeah, the home and hearth. What do I call it? I call it heart and hearth. Ah, oh, who cares? It's wrong. Anyway. Um, done. So, uh, and this season, 30 points. We're friendly. Good at heart. Heart and Hearth, Home and Hearth, Beer Tokens, good. Pretty sure we called it the wrong thing, didn't we? Or is it Home and Hearth? I can't really read what it says. That's, is that the old, that's the old stuff, isn't it? It's like you can pick it up, but you can't zoom in to see what it says. Yeah, heart and hearth. But it'd be home and hearth. Oh well, it is what it is.
Oh, well. Wish we could sprint. We can't sprint. Right, open. Can store that. Um, let's check out this again. There's obviously... Um, track that. They want blonde, blonde ale. So let's go cooling. Oh, all right, catalog. I want to get that pump. I think we need to buy a bigger mash ton, honestly. I don't know, all right, open that. Store all. Then we're gonna have to go to our recipes. Pale ale. American pale ale extract or the blonde ale. I think they want a blonde ale, don't they? Doesn't yeah. Looking for a blonde ale. Brewers quarterly breweries. So this is home and hearth. That's the one we've actually done some work for. Tap rating. We can release our own beers to there. That'll be pretty cool. Alright, let's um, go build mode. Here's now is bridge magnet. Stick that one up on there. Alright, well, what I'll do, guys, I'll end the episode here. I've already gone just over 20 minutes, and by the time we get the next one done, it'll be another 15, 20 minutes, so do a short one. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, as always, smash that like button, leave a comment, let me know what you think of the game so far, and if you've got any ideas, suggestions, what I can do differently, um, you guys let me know. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. Ben Brito, thanks for watching. See you again soon.